good morning everybody it's Paul here from Rio driving school and next to me today I have the lovely Emily oh. I will warn you right now Emily gets a little bit excited uh, her language can be a little bit colorful so if you do Mommy. hear a beep 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 <laughs> then that that could just be her excitement in the car so we're here today at the Featherstone test center um, we're here to do a mock test So we're going to go and try and pick apart any weaknesses in Emily's driving. I'm not really too interested in manoeuvres as such today, although if we've got time we might slip a manoeuvre in there. What I am interested in is just how good Emily is right now because this is um, her first lesson back since lockdown. Um, so we've had a four month break, I just want to see, see what happens. Um, have you got any particular concerns today, Emily? Not really, no. No? Oh, no. Just all the people on the road? Yeah, <laughs> and all the masks. Yes, no, don't worry about those, that's going to be fine. So, yeah, um, we're going to do a test route today. Do you want the sound on the sat-nav or, or do you want me to tell you where we're going? You to tell me, please. Okay, alright, so I'll make something up today. Yep. Um, that's cool, and yeah. Um, so, all right, the rules then. We're going to follow the road ahead at all times unless road signs or road markings indicate otherwise. Um, we're going to pull over a few times as well to do some different starts. And, yeah, that's that's about it. All right, if you've got any questions or concerns, just shout, okay? We're going to... We're going to I'm going to verbalise mistakes when I see them happen yep. today to give you an opportunity to think about those and then put them right again. Um, we may pull over if, if the mistake that is being made is, is a little bit more serious. All right. Yep. Okay, cool. Enjoy yourself. Relax. And just drive normally. Normally. So what I'd like you to do, first of all, is turn left out of the gate and then take the first road on the left and I will remind you it's a national speed limit road there all right yep. so just take it on I think you might find you're doing very well there but you are in third gear so I don't want you to stall on this main road <laughs> I knew I wasn't in the right gear you could feel it
Hey, breathe. Turn off your engine just for a minute. How was that? Talk to me. It's all right. A few minutes in the car. How did that feel though? How does it feel different compared to when we normally go out for a drive? You're quiet. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I d yeah, it's just getting back in the rhythm of it and remembering that National Speed Limit Road means 60, not 30. Okay, yeah. Um, well, 60 on a single carriageway road, mm. but it's also 70 in other places. Where 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 would it be 70? On the motorway. And on a two-lane dual carriageway. On every dual carriageway. Oh yeah, because. Mm. <laughs> well, what sort? Of, how do we recognise when we're on a dual carriageway then? Because there's two lanes on each side. Nope. No. Nope. Oh, so now you're asking me all these questions, and I'm not going to remember the answers. Okay, simple. The, um, a dual carriageway is any road system where there's a physical barrier going down the centre of it. Yeah. So yes, commonly we see two lanes on each side where we drive, that's common. But I could take you to many one lane dual carriageways around Walsall area, where you're from, or three lane ones around Wolverhampton. So, you know, you, you might then bounce back a question to me and say, well, what's the difference between a dual carriageway and a motorway? Yeah. There is no difference. Right, okay. Except the restrictions on a motorway. Okay. So there are certain kinds of road users that would not be allowed on there. Plus also, you don't see roundabouts on motorways, you don't no. see traffic lights, junctions on the left, junctions on the right, and all sorts of pedestrians. So there's no difference. But okay. we, we do see a physical barrier going down the centre of the road separating traffic out, and that is the definition of a dual okay, carriageway. Sure. All right, so, okay. so that would be 70 miles an hour for that. Yeah. Um, the pr tell me about the problem. W w do you think that us going a little bit slower on the national speed limit road could cause a problem? Or causing an issue for other drivers. Yeah, we had we had someone behind us, didn't yeah. we? Did he? How was his space behind us? Did, did well, he, he eased off. To oh, be okay. fair, he right. was quite close, and then he eased off, which then made me go, uh, "Am I going too fast?" And then I saw the sign after and was like, right, right now, okay, duh. As soon as you went, what's that sign mean? I was like, mm, yeah. But he'd backed off. Yeah. Which then made me think, shit, am I going, sorry, am I going too fast? <laughs> they did it already. <laughs> um, do you know, why, why do you think he backed off? Maybe because I was going too slow and I'm a learner. Yeah, possibly. He yeah. might have been a considerate driver. We don't see him in don't many of those. Don't have many of those, no. No, but so that was, that was quite nice. Um, but yeah, if you're causing an issue to other drivers where you're holding them up, maybe we're going to get a tail of um, traffic behind us. That could be a problem. Yeah. Um, okay, so we've got that. As you went round the bend, we were coming back into a 30 mile an hour speed limit. Yeah. But you're a little bit fast as you got to 30. We don't, yeah. we've got to be, be doing, doing 30. 30 when we get, yeah. As we, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the law. Yeah. Um, we briefly talked about check your mirrors on the on the near side when you're turning left. So remember, as a minimum, we're going to be checking the mirrors in pairs if you're turning left. It's internal mirror and then your door mirror. And you told me, yeah, we're looking for the cyclist. Great. Uh, when you pulled up on the left, um, just to uh, stop for me, um, you put your signals on and then you check your mirrors. mirrors. Yeah, mirrors so, first and yeah. Signal. What could yeah. go wrong if you if you put your signal on and then you have a quick look to see if it's okay to do it? It might not be okay to do it, and someone else might have already started to plan for me doing something. There you go. Yeah. So if, if the cyclist is there, for example, they might go into a panic, thinking you're going to knock them off the bike. bike. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. All right. Yeah. I, I think this is useful because what I've noticed from you is a difference in your driving. I don't know if you're tense now because you know you're being watched, but <laughs> on, on the day of your driving <laughs> test, you're going to be watched. So it, it's kind of kind of kind of cool, really. Actually. Yeah. Let's put a line under all of that. I'm going to wipe the board clean. I'm going to carry on with our journey. Cool. So just incorporate some of those ideas and, yep. and we'll carry on, all right? Yeah. So relax, get your engine on and drive off when you're ready. We'll take the first road on the left, okay? okay. Where didn't you check? I did check over there. Yeah. 
looked in that one, looked in that one, looked in that one. Yeah. Then I put the signal on and looked in that one again. Okay. To look over there again. No, 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 no. Put your handbrake on. Let's let's briefly talk about this because you're pretty good at checking. I, I know you're very, very good at checking, but for some reason today, you didn't check your blind spot. Over that side. There. Think about where's the most dangerous place. We can't see. Relax, you're all right. <laughs> it's your lot's fault. Um, so, think about where the cars are coming from. Coming around this side. We're not going to see too many vehicles coming around on the path. I have seen it a couple of times recently, oh, believe it or not. Right. Um, yeah, you might see the odd pedestrian that might step out behind the car. Mm. And it's good It's good to check be in the blind spot there in case we roll back on someone if yeah. you're preparing to, to drive away. Um, but if you look in that door mirror there, yeah. tell me what's the closest thing you see to our car on the other side of the street? The drop curb by the... Right. Yeah. Okay, now look over your right shoulder. Can you yeah. see that silver car in the mirror? Yeah. No. <laughs> no? Well, the drive... So, you know, that car could, could be coming off the driveway around us. And yeah. You know how that ends. So, yeah. yeah, just remember, think where is the safe side of the car? Probably closest to the path. The path. Where's the most dangerous? And I'll, to be honest yeah. with you, as a minimum, if you if you got a, if you're like me and I've got a bad neck, you know, if 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 you're struggling to turn around in the seat, at least check the most dangerous side, the blind yeah. spot there. Yeah, I've got to be able, or the examiner has got to be able to see both of your ears. Yeah. And if he doesn't, he knows you're not looking. Yep. All right. Fine. Okay, carry on. Try Drive on again. when you're ready. Turn right, please. Lovely mirror checks, well done. Quite well. I haven't said the C word yet. <laughs> I'm 
cycling that for when I really screw up. I need a face mask for my ears. <laughs> Did you notice the vehicle behind what they did? No. They drove through the solid white line. Ah, oh, naughty. Okay. If you did find yourself inadvertently driving through the solid white line, or driving towards it, I should say, yeah. what would your action be? To correct it if I can. If what, not, go What, what could way. we do here? If you, if you were positioned early for the right turn and then you notice there's a solid line in front of you, what other option have you got? Um, go the other way? Yeah, you could just turn right, couldn't you? My oh, brain really didn't want to work then. It was like, uh, what can we do? What can we do? Just turn right, then you're not breaking any rules of the road, are you?
roundabouts, first, second or third. Um, fourth I wouldn't go for. Uh, you want a, a strong gear that's good for acceleration, also good for braking as well. So yeah. if there's a problem, you need to react quickly, you can do. Yeah. I don't really think it's going to be a problem on the driving test as such, but from a from a defensive point of view, you just yeah. want to be able to... As soon, as soon as I did it, I was like, mm, yeah. should have been in third. Didn't panic, because I felt comfortable with the car, but yeah. I was like, no, I should have been in third. Yeah, okay. It's just going to help you out if something happens, isn't it? Yeah.
extra priority was the control of the car, wasn't it? Just get back onto the left side there. A little bit too close That's, to the yeah. corner. Okay, relax for a minute. How was, the, how was that last bit of driving? That was a bit better. Yeah, I think it was. Well, I think you've settled down a bit. Yeah. Um, when I indicated to you I said, get yourself back to the left side because yeah. that tight right hand bend, you couldn't really see, see what, what might be coming. coming yeah. So it's, it's, a bit, it's a bit awkward there. If something is coming up the road, we're going to have a big problem, yeah. aren't we? So yeah. that's why I said get back yeah all right. as soon as you said it i'd realized i've gone over as yeah. well so. i'll bring people around here it's not typical on driving test routes but it does show you a few tricky things where things mm. can go wrong yeah. in the real world a uh, little bit late on that signal towards the roundabout but you, yeah. we, we talked about why um that last one was interesting as you were coming around the corner you were trying to cancel your signal yeah. and bring your steering back don't do that just just think the, the priority is the control of the car oh, yeah keep your hands on the wheel yeah that signal should the indicator should cancel itself if it doesn't you can do it while you're going in a straight, straight line. line yeah but yeah don't 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 get do doing that yeah do yeah exactly yeah. Make, make life easier I'm, I'm a lazy driver i don't do things unless i have to do them um right hillstart.com we were going to be doing this today. Yeah, so at the end of the road, uh, sorry, I'd like to do a heel start here, and then at the end of the road there, I want to turn left, please. Okay. Relax, screw fine. <laughs> you say that now, I did it all right the other day. I'm going to screw it up today. Think about what you've got to do, relax. Yeah, I felt it go back down, but I couldn't quite tell if it was up.
You all right? That's fine. Just to let the viewers know, you did all the braking then. The vehicle was coming quite quickly from the right. You did all the braking. I didn't have to intervene at all. At the roundabout, turn right, please. Deliberately choosing things are a bit unusual. Thanks. Uh, I need to. Push that that push road marking is horrible. Yeah. That was really what horrible. What was it? What was that road mark? It was like pointing to go that way, but then there was a checkered bit here, and then the right turn was there. It was horrible. Let me get my book. That was horrible. Where have we seen this before? Does that look familiar? Yeah. But it was all checkered. I yeah, didn't see and the went gap. To a, went to a point, didn't it? Yeah, but I didn't see the gap to turn no, right. No, there wasn't one. But what, it was bro it was surrounded by broken, broken lines, lines yeah. wasn't it? Therefore, you can position through it. That's fine. Any time you like. That, that's what you, fine. What we did was fine. That, so, that's fine. And you actually had no choice but to drive through it in order to make your right turn. Yeah, that's why I was a bit like, mm, why is this doing? I'm being really good to see how much I'm not swearing. I know. I <laughs> Yeah. That would have been a swear fest normally. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but no, that was horrible. No, that it was. It, it's fine. I'm, again, I don't. I, the tests that I've sat in, I don't see people turning right there. I think a lot of people would have panicked. I've, I've, I've done it before with people, and they're like, oh my god, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, I very nearly did, and then I thought well, there's two Some, cars behind me. I can't do that. Like, oh, I'm not that bad. Yeah. Not that bad. So, no, but there was two cars behind me, and I was like, "Well, I'm signalling to go that way, so I'm going to go that way, whether I'm, I'm supposed to go that way or not." Yeah, you were fine. What was the problem going on from behind at the time? 
I got a little bit twitchy mm -hmm. because I noticed something going on behind us. There was a couple of cars behind, they were right. quite close. They were very close and I thought if you panic now I'm going to be having to grab the wheel and steer the car in there whether you like it or well, that, not that's why in I, case. That's why I turned, I was like wait yeah, if I'm not supposed I, to come this way it's tough yeah, because I, there's I was, cars behind you. I was so thinking oh way. my goodness if you use your brake because you panic or something you can have a bit of a problem there. But he did a great job, it was fine. Uh, steering though, a little bit of an issue with that because, uh, and I don't know if we can see this on the video, but you steered the car in and then you was somehow let the, the wheel we'll swivel back itself. I think you did sort of it, did it a bit one-handed, a little, yes. a little bit, and, and, and then let the wheel go a little bit and it was spinning through. So Bad yeah, Emily. whilst we don't, it's not best practice to be steering the wheel like that. No. Examiners don't mind nowadays. I don't. I don't normally uh, like that, but examiners don't seem to care. But what you're not allowed to do is steer, steer and then let, let the, the wheel, wheel go. spin through your fingers. So Bad minute. Let's not do that. No, let's not do that. So a little mark for steering. In fact, steering and signals together happened earlier, and now we've had another steering issue. So there's two of those. So we've got to keep our eye on your steering now. Of all things. Ah, naughty. Emily. Okay, but at least now we're. We're starting to find out where some of these weaknesses are so that yeah. we can focus our attention on that and tidy it up. And not do stupid things with the steering wheel. Okay, all right. We ain't going to do too much more now. We don't need to do a full length mock test, but we're starting to gather one or two ideas on what we need to do next. So when, whenever you're ready, just drive on. Okay. Your signal and break a neutral. Just kill the car. All right, a couple of things, a couple of things there. A uh, couple, couple of disasters, really. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mean to make light of it, but, but um, where didn't you check for a start? This shoulder. Right, okay, blind spot, blind I, spot. I, so sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Do you know what it is? It's when I do that one, yeah. I then forget to do that one. Okay. Why do you check over here then? I don't know. For? I don't know. What's going to go wrong can, on the footpath? But I'm, at, I'm looking like all the way around, like craning my neck all the way around. Yeah. yeah. So then I'm forgetting to do that way. Okay. Because yeah. I'm craning my neck all the way around and, that way. And yet, which is the most dangerous? That one. Why is it dangerous? Because the cars are coming from that side. Yeah, yeah, and I know yeah. that. I what, know that's what's What's going to go are. wrong over here then? Not a fat lot. No. But if you roll back like you did a little bit, and if see that guy there, if he wants to go and visit his friend over the road. Yeah. People, people step out from behind the car. car. I, I personally, I wouldn't move the car if there was someone by the back of the car, just no. in case they're going to do that. Um, but yeah, uh, we didn't check our blinds, but we did have a little roll. So yeah. you've got to think to yourself, what? Look at the gradient that we're on. Yeah. Uh, it's not, a, it's not as severe as it was earlier, is it? But we no, still but need still a little backwards. bit. So how, how do we correct that? How do we make sure that doesn't happen? Actually, use the gas, not just lift my foot off the clutch. Which is basically what I did. I completely well, what, forgot about Well, what you did was you released the handbrake, and then the car starts to go. So my feet back. weren't ready yeah, at all. Yeah, get get your feet yeah. sorted. All right. And as perfect. soon as I did it, I was like, F yeah. "So now, look, now the swearing's coming. <laughs> now it's coming." Yeah. Well, you... Emily's getting ratty with herself. No worries. <sighs> Relax. Don't do that. Relax. It's gonna be fine. Think it's about what fine. you got to do. Okay, one more thing, cancel that signal. <laughs> Sorry about this. You know, you love it Put really. yourself into neutral. Leave the engine running because we're not going to stay for long. Why are you putting your signal on before you know you're going to go? This is what happens. See that black car there? Yeah, it was slow down. If he your signal, what's he going to do? He's going to slow down and wait for me to move. And so then you're I'm not going to move. Yeah, you're forcing him to make a decision he shouldn't have to make. So, get the car ready. Have a look. And then tell everybody what you're going to do. I can run and jump off a bridge in it. <laughs> oh, I drew that little boy. Go on, you can do it. <laughs> I don't think he was talking to me. <laughs> I like to, I like, I like to think positively. He was talking to you there. I don't think he was talking to me. He go, Mommy, look at that stupid lady in the car. That's what my kids would have said. You're not a bad driver at 
at all, Emily. I mean, we've got a few bit, bits and pieces to, That's to the polish up. Thing. I make stupid ass mistakes that I know I shouldn't be doing, yet somehow I still manage to do them. And then once I've done one, they all decide to come and make a flipping appearance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is this before you move? What kind of structure is this? Oh, it's a flipping roundabout, isn't it? Yeah. What are you going to do? Go that way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go out. <laughs> Why are we on left signal? I don't know. Right. Oh my god. Look what you're doing to me. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a bad driver, Em, really. Are you sure? Let's look at that very quickly. What, why is it a dotted line going across the road? Pedestrians. It's give way. Give way. So that white car in front there, yeah. when he wants to turn right on that arrow that's pointing that way, yeah. he has to wait behind that line for anyone on this road. They, 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 did, they didn't, there was yeah. a van sat in yeah. the middle. Yeah, that's why I didn't go. Right, okay, fair enough. Because I was like, shit, there's a van. That's fair. Can't enough. go when there's a van in the way. That's fine. People pass their driving test and then they're saving up for a car and it might take six or eight months or something like that. Mm. I mean, you know, how rusty does your driving get? Six or eight months? Obviously a lot. Yeah, I always encourage my learners to try and get a vehicle so they can go out and practice outside a lesson time. I do try, but strangely enough, I don't know why people are a little bit. <laughs> they don't want me to drive their nice new cars. <laughs> My mum's car's a tank. My dad's got a Duke. The only other option is an Audi. I don't particularly want to drive his brand new Audi. to turn right, what kind of road was we on? Single lane. Dual carriageway we were on. Was we? 
Yeah. Do you remember we talked about a road has a physical barrier? Oh, yeah. So it was actually a dual carriageway. Oh, so I thought yeah. we'll pull over briefly and then we'll just point that out, reinforce that. Um, did you check your mirror before you put your left signal on pulled over? Or was you just relieved that we were stopping and pulled over quick? No, I did glance. Okay, I didn't, fair I didn't do a whole head turn, but I did glance. No, no, that's fine. No, that's my fault then. That's fine. So, all right. Um, we're going to leave it there. Uh, let, let's have a debrief then. So, what went well? What needs to happen to get you better or up to test standard? And freaking signals more and stop letting that steering wheel slide from your fingers yeah steering wheel that, that that's that's really really important there what can go wrong if you are uh, letting it go through your fingers you're not in control of the car okay but and the wheel could go too quick the other way you could do yeah yeah or you know sooner or later you, you might be turning right or something and go into a pothole, pothole and then it won't spin back at all yeah uh, so yeah, you you do the work. You bring the steering wheel back. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, you said something about signals. What specifically are we talking about? I need to check everywhere and make sure I'm looking over this flipping shoulder. Oh, okay. Blind spots. Blind spots. Yeah. And then signal. Yeah. Why? Because there's no point signaling until I'm ready to move. Because then it makes everyone else wait even longer. Perfect. Okay. What about indicators then? Because that's a kind of signal, isn't it? So. Do we need to do anything with indicators? Stop trying to turn them off when I'm steering at the same time. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Again, it's down to control and steering, yeah. isn't it? And also, I, 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 I just I, I end up trying to cancel it because I'm trying to think like well, I've gone where I want to go now. I don't want to confuse the other people with still having a signal on. Right. Okay. But I've already made my my manoeuvre, so the signal doesn't need to be on. Okay. So then it's an automatic. I must turn the signal off. That's my brain. I must turn the signal off because I've already done what I need to do. You're right in saying you, you must turn it off. Because I don't want to confuse other people. Yeah. But just wait till the wheels are back, back to being to straight, straight. <laughs> and you'll probably find nine times out of ten it will cancel itself for yeah. you. And then it's less work for you. Just keep your ears open for that tick tock tick yeah. tock sound. And, uh, good. Yeah, the only, the only big, big problem for me is the blind spot, blind spot. checks today yeah. and being on the wrong side of the road earlier. Yeah, that was, uh, that was stupid. And as soon as you said it, I realised, I was like, shit. Yeah. Yeah. But that's it. Yeah. Hope you lot got something out of this video today. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed Emily's uh, driving and we'll catch you <laughs> later for another mock test and we'll see how she does next time. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>